member for Kitchener Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's an honour to rise to present a petition on nearly 10,000 folks across the country. Uh, they note, first of all, that it was back in 1949 that the UN Relief and Works a uh, Agency, UNRWA for short, was established to carry out direct relief and works programs for Palestinian refugees. They note that UNRWA is the primary provider of humanitarian aid in Gaza. Food, social services, health care, schools, ref refugee camps, the list goes on, sustaining the lives of millions of civilians, more than half of them kids, um, in the Palestinian territory of Gaza, blockaded by Israel since 2007. They go on to note that South Africa submitted an application of, to the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crimes of Genocide in the Gaza Strip, uh, the case of South Africa versus Israel, to the International Court of Justice, or the ICJ. After considering both applications and oral arguments, the court concluded genocide was plausible. In its January 26 order, the ICJ cited UNRWA statements documenting dire conditions in the Gaza Strip before introducing its, por its fourth provisional measure, uh, which is the petitioner's quote, the State of Israel shall take immediate and effective measures to enable the provision of urgently needed basic services and humanitarian assistance to address the adverse conditions of life faced by Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. And finally, that Israel leveled allegations against a dozen UNRWA employees, after which Canada paused humanitarian funding committed to UNRWA without an investigation. The petitioners, uh, uh, citizens and residents of Canada, call upon the Government of Canada to live up to their obligations under, under the, the uh, Genocide Convention to prevent the catastrophic humanitarian si uh, situation in the Gaza Strip from deteriorating further before the court renders its final decision. They call on two specific actions. The first for Canada to reinstate UNRWA funding, which in the time since pe this petition uh, was out in the public has already been done. Secondly, they advocate for other countries to do the same and for Canada to call on other countries to do the same. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.